Yeah, Nika does a lot for our team. Um, I think that she's just the, the steady beat that really helps us go, helps us slow down, helps us just play at the pace that we need to play at on the defensive end, um, you know, controlling the, the, the pace of the defense. And it's just a ripple down effect all the way down to the back line. So I think she sets the tone on the defensive end. And offensively, just her leadership and just her controlling what we need to execute, uh, what coach asks of, ask of us to execute. And I think that she's just a great leader. And, um, you know, being a senior and playing alongside her for um, our last dance, you know, I think that she's really grown into this position and um, it's come a long way and more people should notice that. Uh, I'm just grateful for the platform that I've been given um, playing on at, at elite school like UConn because not only it's open doors for me and opportunities for me, but also opportunities for, you know, those upcoming in Canada. And I think the impact that I've been able to, to continue to lead after, you know, Kia came here um, was just showing Canadians that uh, we can not only be dominant just within Canada, but coming across the border and seeing how special you can get a lot more opportunities in the NCAA and, you know, going for a scholarship and um, be becoming a student athlete and um, eventually going pro. So I'm just grateful to be put in this position and kind of impact from a distance. I know I get a lot of support and a lot of love from home. And um, even when um, coach made it happen where I had a homecoming game in Canada, I think that was a big step for just women's basketball in Canada because as our national t team continues to grow, I think we're also just growing women's basketball in, gen in general. We're not only a hockey country, we're trying to be a basketball country as well. So um, a lot of love up north and I appreciate all of you. You know, when you're dealt with so many things that are unexpected and you're kind of, you know, sick of all those injuries and um, all the cha challenges thrown your way, I feel like at first it's obviously a shock, you know, it's a morning stage that you have to go through with your team, with yourself. Um, but as the time goes on, you kind of realize that you can either sit here and keep mourning forever, or you can just, you know, um, step up for your team and, you know, play for the people that are also on the bench that cannot play. Because, you know, we are very lucky and privileged right now to be able to, you know, play and be out there because we know how hard it is. Um, to not be able to, you know, especially some people like Paige that have been in that position before. Um, so I'm sure we're taking every second to, you know, appreciate our time on the court, and I'm sure it made us tougher in the end. I mean, we're here, so and nobody expected us to be here, and that only means that we used all of those things to make each other tough. I think one of the things that we learned is just leaning more on each other, um, playing more as a unit. Um, and just playing for something bigger than just the win, you know, as as Nika said, playing for those who cannot play, but also just trying to prove ourselves right that we're still in this, we're still going to play the UConn way, and we still hold ourselves to the standard. Um, I know a lot of people are counting us out, so just playing with that extra motivation to um, play to win. It's definitely maybe a little helpful, you know, to have played them twice already. But at the same time, it's completely different teams. It's completely different. Um, it's going to be a completely different atmosphere. Um, it's a much more important game now. So I feel like once you count all those things in, I don't think you can really compare um, those previous two games to this one. But can we, you know, watch the watch the game and take some things that we did well against them and we that we didn't do well? Yes, of course. But um, I feel like we're more focusing on us and our game. Um, I feel like that has been the main point for us throughout this whole tournament, you know, to obviously study them and um, get our defensive offensive plan. But I feel like our game is what um, we're trying to get much more focus on. I feel like that's going to be the main point. Um, it's evolved so much um, coming in as freshmen. Like we came in when it was bubble season, so not really playing in front of big crowds, not really getting a lot of TV, TV coverage. And I, I know like from Canada, like there is nothing streaming across the border, but now there's more coverage nationally, internationally, and just more people buying into women's basketball. So um, I think it's just great to be a part of. Um, it's a long time coming, and I think it's going to grow even larger.